Welcome back. It's almost that time again from deep fried everything to the agri lift. The fair is back this week. Anthony Montalto went to Perry this afternoon and has everything you need to know for the 33rd edition of the Georgia National Fair. You know, it's been a few years since the most wonderful time of the year was in full force here in Paradise, the Georgia National Fair. But this year, there are a few new things to keep in mind before you run over here and ride some rides and eat a funnel cake or three. So let's run through them. The fair made a socially distanced return last year after a COVID lockdown in 2020, and it draws a crowd. First, let's talk parking. You can find parking in the north, east, or west lots, but if you want to park in the south, well, this year it's off limits. Handicapped parking is available in each of those lots. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. Let's go inside. And of course, one of the big new rules this year, don't forget your clear bag. It's got to be 12 by 6 by 12. But don't worry, if you're handling livestock, that rule does not apply to you. Admission for adults 11 and up, $15 daily. Seniors 60 and up is 10. There's also a two day pass that'll run you 25. I don't know about you all, but I am a total roller coaster junkie. So I'll be trading on my wristwatch for one of those ride bracelets. You can get it back here at the entrance to the Midway. Tickets cost a buck 25 each. The ride bands cost 25 a piece up until October 14th, the last day of the festival. They go up to 30. Now, parents, this one's for you, so listen up. Tell your kids before you get here that if they get separated from you, they can get help here at the clock tower. It's also a good meeting spot for any grown-ups. They also recommend snapping a picture of your children right before you go to the fair so you have an updated picture of them if you get separated. So, you got all that? Well, then come on down to the fair anytime between the 6th and the 16th. Gates open at 3 on day 1. They open at 9 the rest of the time. In Perry, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Awesome job, Anthony. One more note for this year. Teens under 17 can't go into the fair alone after 5 p.m. They'll need a parent or guardian with them. Well, the fair always brings in new rides, entertainment, vendors, and foods to try, and that's why we're celebrating. Join 13 WMAZ for what's new in 2022 at the fair. We're live this, at, this Friday, October 7th at 5.30 p.m. We can't wait to see y'all there.